Hello friends, did you know that spiders can defeat not only insects, but also frogs and even snakes? And even though most spiders are completely harmless, there are extremely dangerous species in many countries, which are capable of incredible things, especially when enraged. In today's episode, you'll get to learn a lot of interesting facts about different spiders and see what these arthropods are capable of when enraged. In most countries of the world, this creature is known as a camel spider due to its desert habitat or as a wind scorpion due to its high speed of movement. Another name for it is Solifugi. They all have many common features. For example, all Solifugi are extremely voracious. In captivity, camel spider can literally eat until it bursts. However, camel spiders are very mobile, and almost all of them are nocturnal predators. The subspecies has both carnivores and omnivores. They feed on termites, bees, beetles, and other small arthropods. But they can even eat larger animals, such as lizards. In a fight with scorpions, given the equal size of the opponents, a solifugi usually wins. It grabs the prey with lightning speed, holds it firmly, tears it apart, and kneads it with its jaws. However, if there are too many opponents at once, the camel spider won't be able to defeat them all. But frogs have almost no chance against this spider, so it won't pass on the opportunity to feed on the amphibian, especially since its size allows it to engage in such battles without fear, as most species of camel spiders grow up to 5 to 7 centimeters in length. By the way, some types of solifugi are known in California as hive devastators. Having made its way into the hive at night, the spider destroys a huge number of sleeping bees in one fell swoop. However, this plan also has a drawback, the greed of the solifugi. This spider can't stop eating in time, and thus its abdomen gets so swollen from eating all the bees that it prevents the spider from being able to leave the hive and the bees that wake up in the morning take cruel revenge on the offender. And the next episode shows how long the wasp was able to hold out in a tank with a tarantula, which many consider the king of the spider world. It even managed to attack the spider several times, but the size made all the difference in this battle. The giant spider emerged victorious from it. It's worth noting that the tarantula is quite capable of defeating even the largest scorpions, and the giant centipede has little chance. By the way, in most of these tank battles, insects don't seem too eager to fight each other. This suggests that they would simply disperse in different directions in the wild, which would be a very reasonable decision, taking into account that an angry tarantula is capable of anything. Even large predators are afraid of tarantulas. Take a look at this. No matter how strong the hunting instincts of this cat are, it doesn't dare touch the tarantula, limiting itself to studying it from a distance. By the way, did you know that tarantulas are not as dangerous to humans as we're used to thinking? Of course, they look very scary and they are venomous, but their venom doesn't pose a threat to human life. However, that can't be said of the Black Widow, which is a truly dangerous spider. It is believed that the venom of the Black Widow is several times stronger than that of some snakes, but it only applies to females. The bites of male and young spiders are harmless not only to humans, but also to animals. As most arachnids, the Black Widow preys on insects and occasionally eats mice, lizards, and snakes caught in its webs, but that rarely happens. In the deserts, the black widow lives on a diet of scorpions. It is known to have the toughest webs of any other spider species. The black widow doesn't weave pretty webs. Instead, it creates a strong weave of thick, sticky threads. The black widow is not aggressive, but may bite when disturbed. If it's trapped, 
it is unlikely to bite, preferring to pretend to be dead or hide. This spider usually bites when it's cornered or unable to escape. Injuries are usually caused by defensive bites received when the female is inadvertently crushed or pinched. But this venomous spider has many natural enemies in the wild. Some species of birds may well eat these spiders, but they do it accidentally, because they can get indigestion after eating a black widow. Therefore, birds will only hunt them as a last resort. Serpents are the black widow's enemies. But its web is so strong and durable that it can even hold a snake. As soon as this amateur video appeared on the internet, it shocked many people, raising the question, can a black widow really defeat a snake? And not just any snake, but a coral asp, which is also venomous. In fact, such a battle should have ended in one second. The first animal to bite would automatically become the winner of the fight. However, the web gave the spider a tactical advantage. But for the praying mantises, the black widow is a favorite dish. Well, at least if it doesn't have time to defeat them first. Of course, this video was filmed accidentally. The battle took place in the garage of its author in the U.S. state of Oklahoma. The opponents had to fight in the air, and it is difficult to say which creature won this fight. But most of the spectators still bet on the praying mantis. And now we will see a battle of a black widow and a Brazilian wandering spider. It didn't last very long as the wandering spider quickly realized how dangerous the approach of the venomous relative was and ran away. By the way, did you know that the Brazilian wandering spider is the most venomous spider in the world? This spider rarely attacks people, but if it happens, unless first aid is provided in due time, a fatal outcome is almost inevitable. The tropical forests of South America are the habitat of this most dangerous arachnid. The body length of the Brazilian wandering spider is about 5 centimeters, and its legs are 15 centimeters long. However, there are larger specimens with a leg length of 22 centimeters. This spider mainly hunts at night, and it truly deserves its name. It doesn't have a definite permanent habitat. It's always wandering. What's unpleasant for humans is that sometimes these spiders go into people's homes. The Brazilian wandering spider loves to settle on bananas. This choice of habitat gave rise to another one of its names, the banana spider. It mainly hunts other spiders and insects, and it may sometimes attack birds and lizards that are larger in size. And now you can see a dangerous, venomous pepsis wasp carry out a successful sting attack on the spider. The spider becomes more and more disoriented in space and can't fight the wasp. In the end, the wasp seems to be winning and the spider falls with its legs up, but still manages to bite the insect. The wasp stings the spider one last time and the spider opens its legs and releases the wasp. The spider is left paralyzed and can no longer control its body. The wasp also begins to feel the effects of the venom and can't fly away, having difficulty moving. So, which creature is the winner here? The spider will remain alive, but will be paralyzed for some time. But the wasp won't be able to survive when the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider spreads through its body. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts on this episode in the comments. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.